the wreckage of a rainstorm in January 2017 in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. These billboards fell as a result of weak signage poles, killing at least two people. And so, for the past 10 months, it's been a tedious task for men of the River State Signage and Advertisement Agency as they remove hundreds of billboards and other structures deemed unsafe. Some hang dangerously on the electric power cables. Sometimes if rain fall, we will be very afraid because more breeze will come and people will be very afraid of it. Even myself, sometimes I will even run, leave my business place because of the signposts. After the removals of the, the signposts, and uh, I think everything around, there is space, the place is spacious, place is spacious, and uh, I think people are not afraid that the signposts can fall on them anymore while they are going about their normal business. The acting general manager of the agency explains there is now time for things to be done properly. In line with Governor Wiki's um, vision to um, restore River State to its Garden City status, um, we have taken the outdoor landscape by um, making sure we um, regulate the outdoor um, sector as well as um, exploiting the um, revenue generation angle. Anybody seeking to put posters and even erect structures need to seek a permit from um, RISA. We have designated certain areas where we will give for posters and uh, within the short space of time, we'll clean it up once the um, event or whatever the advertising is done. Um, we will no longer tolerate anybody getting up and um, um, defacing the city. As a new look emerges around the city, the signage agency is appealing to those gearing up for the campaigns for the 2019 elections to abide by the state's laws in the display of campaign posters. Emmanuel Iri, Channels Television News.